so this is the hotel room really cute one not that big but it's nice and here's the view so here's the bathroom there's this really cute butter and yeah just a normal one nothing fancy and that's me hi hi guys so it's a vlog after a very long time i know so we are here in birmingham and we have come here for our easter holidays so it's going to be a really fun trip because mainly we have kept birmingham as a base and we are going to explore the countryside that is proper english countryside and that makes me super excited because i've always wanted to explore this part of the country so yes i am going to vlog throughout the weekend and and it's going to be so much fun and here is Sid say hi hi guys after a really long time so now the plan is we are going to an Indian restaurant first have a proper lunch as usual we always hunt down a good Indian restaurant at any city we travel to and then we are going to explore the city center so let's go so what you're saying is it's not enough just write it off like a prescription drug You've been fussing how we never turn What are you doing, Sid? <laughs> So guys, I want to review this restaurant named uh, Chennai Dosa. It was so good. Like if you're coming to Birmingham, make sure to have a meal here. It was so amazing. Like um, we had this biryani. It was vegetarian biryani and also um, paneer tikka. The guys, it was the yummiest and that authentic spicy Indian taste was there. So yes, there's this really positive review about this amazing restaurant here in Birmingham. But who can bother with this kind of fuzzing? Jati Swagat and Bienvenue in French and yeah this is Swagatam yeah Swagatam in Bengali and yeah Urdu and I think this one's Punjabi wow this is also in Assamese yeah in Assamese as well how cool so guys we just got down at the city center and I'm so amazed like this city center is so cool so there aren't that many attractions here in the city center so we are just going to explore a few of it like the cathedral town hall and there's a museum also but it's going to be closed by the time we reach there so yeah just a few attractions and yeah that's it but who can bother with this kind of fuzzing? What a beautiful tree. So this is Midland Bank. How cool is this structure? Wow. It's not a bank, it's I guess a club because people are dining inside, but still the structure is amazing. It's I think Greek inspired. We've been walking this blind, frustrated, outdated, what's on your mind? Troll for this time. So guys we just got done with exploring the city center now we are just bored and now <laughs> we're just gonna go for a movie so it's, it's the movie called little and yeah when we've been so we just got done with watching the movie it was really good and now i'm just gonna rest back at the hotel and see you tomorrow bye hi guys so it's day two here in birmingham so today we are planning for a day trip so we are going to start with upon even it's a small village you know it's famous because it's called shakespeare's village so william shakespeare was born in stratford upon even which is just one hour drive from here we are going to take a train from here and gonna reach to this really cute village and we are going to explore where he grew up like the house and his wife's cottage and all of that so it's going to be a really fun day trip from here Birmingham so let's get started
in Stratford upon Avon, and guys, this is the cutest village. Like it was my dream to visit a countryside village, and I'm so happy to be here. And there are just really cute houses, and we have already seen three Indian restaurants. Like seriously, Indian restaurant is everywhere. But yes, uh, talking about this village, it's really cute. And, and now we are going to visit Shakespeare's cottage. So we are going to start with that first. And yes, let's just get started. And I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> Shakespeare's house and this is his house. Now we are gonna enter Shakespeare's cottage. weather today it's very sunny and it's not at all cold and right now we are just chilling we are at the Shakespeare's garden and just enjoying this time <laughs> So this is River Avon and there are a lot of people boating and there are really cute ducks and swans. How sweet. So guys right now we are at the riverside. This river is called Avon. That's why the village is called Stratford upon Avon. So this place is really good like you can have a very peaceful time here. So whenever you visit uh, Shakespeare's cottage it's just straight down the road just come here by the riverside and sit down with the family people have tents here and there are you know a lot of boating trips and everything so it's a very nice peaceful day if you want that kind of a day you should visit this village and also do come near the riverside also there's this huge wheel i want to get on it let's go there <laughs> right after all the people are uh, seated so I guess must have oh my god wow Day 3 
today again we have a day trip plan so we are going to warwick castle it's right on the bend of uh, river avon again so we are going to see river avon again and Oh, it's going to be a fun day trip we actually pre-planned it and we have paid around 22 pounds for the entry ticket so it's much more cheaper when you uh, you know pre-book it to online and pay the tickets online so yeah uh, it's a good tip always remember that again an English countryside it's uh, based in Warwickshire so yes let's just get started with the day I'm super excited again look who I am twinning with Mr. Sid, we both are wearing pink today. So what you're saying is it's not enough. Just write it off like a So talking about the day saver cards, we always uh, make sure that you know if there's any kind of day saver while we are traveling before traveling to the city. So if it's not a very big city and buses are the main way of transport, we would just uh, you know have a uh, knowledge before going to that city and and uh, yeah that's the way uh, you should always plan because that way you can save a lot of money so now in Birmingham we know that you know it takes around four pounds exactly per person and whole day you can travel you know to whichever location you want through bus and it's completely like you can take unlimited rides on it and just giving four pounds so it's like a very good deal and we knew beforehand so all you need to do is just go in the bus and ask the bus conductor that you know you want a day saver and he will just uh, you know take around eight pounds for two people approximately and he'll hand over this chit which I have already showed you and that chit you can just show it before going in the bus and uh, they would uh, you know let you enter the bus so it's quite easy way of travel and you save a lot of money because we travel through bus a lot because whenever we want we want to go to the train station or you know to the city center so multiple times there are a lot of rides on the bus so that way you can easily travel without paying much so what you're saying is it's not enough just write it off like a prescription drug so we have reached Warwick and this is a very cute village so there are a lot of things to do here including gardens and all of that but the first thing that we are going to do is for what we have come here is visiting the castle it's a very old castle you've been fussing how we never touch but who can bother with this kind of fussing when we've been walking this blind frustrated outdated is super huge like it's so so huge as well as it's really beautiful and at the same time a vast area is covered like there's a lot of greenery and at the same time there are a lot of shows here like the falconers quest and you know it involves all the eagles and vultures and you know archery show and all of that so kids are gonna love it so if you have kids make sure that you come here and uh, it's 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 a very vast area so you need a day to cover it and at the same time to chill under the sun you need a day So guys 
because it was a very fun day now we are leaving this place and going to the station so today's day was really fun actually i didn't really vlog much because most of the time we were just lying on the grass and just chilling so tomorrow is going to be another day but tomorrow we will be leaving for london before that i will try to explore city center more so see you tomorrow end of today's day Hi guys, so it's last day here in Birmingham. We have already checked out, kept our luggage at the storage, and we are free till three o'clock in the afternoon. So we have planned nothing. Actually, we just want to randomly see all the places here at the city center again, and also we are trying for a canal trip here. So I've never ever done this canal trip. I always wanted to do that in Amsterdam, but okay, we'll do it here. And yeah, that's it. Uh, that's it for today. And I also want. Wanted to visit world's biggest Primark that is here in Birmingham, but uh, due to shortage of time, I don't think so we'll be able to make it. But okay, it's fine. We are trying for the canal trip. If that happens, it's really good. So let's just get the day started. <music> it's a breakfast in a boat. Wow. This boat is a mini restaurant. And you can get breakfast here. How oh, cool! After three hours I changed and now I need to unpack and make the dinner also so yes I hope you guys enjoyed this weekend vlog with me and the canal trip was really amazing if you guys visit Birmingham then do visit uh, the canal side and go for a boat trip there and it's also said that uh, Birmingham has more canals than Venice that's really amazing so I hope you guys you know enjoyed this weekend with me thank you so much guys for watching this video Bye for now.